Hi all. In this video, we are discussing about OpenHRMS dashboard in Odo 15. OpenHRMS is a open source HR management software which helps to create happier workspace for employees. Moreover, it is packed with advanced features to manage and act as a solution to run all the HR management operations in your company. So, in this video, we are discussing about OpenHRMS dashboard in Odo 15. OpenHRMS dashboard provides a visually engaging palette for seamless management HR functions. It provides the executives and the employees for the information that they need. Forget that feature, once we need to install the module from the App Store. So in the App Store, let's try to install the module HRMS dashboard. So which of technical name HRMS dashboard? Once we install this module, you will be able to access the feature. For accessing that feature, let's go to the dashboard module. So this is the dashboard view. It facilitates the various metrics helping easy to view, understand and share data. Currently I am logged in as Michelle Admin who is the admin of the database that I am logged in. So once we open the dashboard, we can see different different tiles and different different charts which helps to understand uh, the all of your uh, HR functions in your company. And in the dashboard view on the right top, we can see a check in button. While we click on this button, it automatically check in the employee. And then a rainbow man pop up will appear which shows successfully checked in. Likewise, we can, add, we can add the attendance using this check in button and also we can check out while clicking on this check out button. So I'll click on here. It shows a successfully check out. And then moving to the left side, we can see the employee's image and then their name and then the job position, gender, date of birth and the joint date and the nationality and mobile number. And top, we can see different tiles, payslips, timesheets, contracts, and broad factor. Payslips, it shows the total number of payslips created for this employee. And while we're clicking on this tile, it will redirect to a view. And this view gives the salary details of the employee. That means salary reference, name, and then the status. And then let's return to the dashboard. Next is timesheets. It gives the total count of timesheets created uh, by this employee for each tasker. And when we click on this uh, dashboard, we can see the timesheets created by the employee Michel Admin. And then next is the uh, contracts, that the contracts for this particular Michel Admin can be seen here. Then the broad factor, that is a factor which depends upon the leave of the employee. And then moving to the next task, that is leave requests, total leave requests created uh, for all of the employees. And on, out of that, on today and on this month, and then the allocation request is the count of the allocation requests and the total allocation requests can be seen on this view. And here it shows the job applications, total count of job applications as 17. And while we click on this tile, we can go to a view which shows the each job applicants and then its application details. That's all about the tiles that can be shown in the HRMS dashboard of Odo 15. Then we can see there is a pie chart, which is, which is a uh, pie chart which shows the number of employees versus the departments, which gives each department and the number of the employees in each department can be seen at here. And while we moving down, we can see a, another graph too, that is monthly leave analysis, which gives a bar chart and a pie chart, which shows the leave and leaves of each employees in each department so that means for example for the department administration how many percentage of the employees has been taken leave and here in the bar chart it shows the monthly leaves between the employees and on each month how much percentage of the leave is taken it can be seen at here and then while scrolling down we can see another two graphs they are line graphs that is monthly join and resign analysis it shows the join and resign uh, values of on each month of the employees in our company and the sky blue color shade shows the join of the employees and then the green color shows the resign of the employees and here we can see the attrition rate it is based upon the join and the resign or resign of the employees based on the monthly analysis 
and then while moving down we can see a tab for upcoming birthdays here it shows the upcoming birthdays of employees in your company and here it shows the upcoming events and here it shows the announcements the general announcements that created for the employee and in the announcements it shows the announcements created only for today for example for today it is the april 2 to so here it shows the announcement created for today and then while moving down we can see a my leave analysis which shows the michel admins leave analysis based on month and uh, while i am logging as say uh, admin i can see this much of tiles and this much of views when i log in as a demo user that means as a normal user i will show as a login user while i am logging as a user i can only see about uh, my own pay slips timesheets contract and board factor and only shows the upcoming birthdays of the employees in our company, upcoming events and then the announcement and also the my leave analysis. And the tiles for uh, the employees versus of the departments and the join and the result analysis, all of them are disappears. So using HRMS dashboard, we can restrict the tiles and then the views based on the uh, user access like admin, user, etc. And it gives the overall metrics view uh, which helps you understand each employee's details in your company. That's all about the feature of OpenHRMS dashboard in order 15. If you want to know more details about OpenHRMS, you can visit openhrms.com.